Well, interesting thing about selling today is it's slightly different than it used to be when I first got involved with selling. Yeah, this is a weird thing, I don't know if you've heard of it, called the internet. And what the internet has given people like you and I, as consumers, as shoppers, is the ability to go and find our own information out. Because back in the day, when I first started in selling, there was no such thing as the internet. So if I had a problem, and I was a buyer, and I needed some help, I would pick the phone up and I'd say, John, can you come and see me? I know you sell widgets. I think I need some widgets. I'm not sure how many I need, and I'm not sure what sort of widget, but you're the widget guy, come and see me. And you'd go and see that person, and over a period of an hour, two hours, a couple of meetings, you'd help them solve the problem that they've got. That doesn't happen anymore, because what happens is I've got a problem, I know what I'll do, I'll Google widgets. And you Google widgets and up comes a load of information, and then you start to go what we, you know, go through what we, this thing called the sales process. It's a step-by-step -step process that we always go through when we sell things, and ironically, it's very similar to how people buy things. And we go through these things step-by-step, -step, but we do it ourselves. So we discover what our problem is, and then we Google the answer, and we get the answer, so we solve our own problem, and then we might think to ourselves, yeah, but I've got a few issues with that, so I'll find out what the, yeah, I'll solve those as well. I've kind of got everything I need now. The only thing that's missing is price. And that's the point where we think, well, there's no price there. I need to find out the price. I'll ring John up. He's the widget guy. And so you pick the phone up and you say, John, you're the widget man. What's your price? And now can you imagine going into an environment as a salesperson where your first conversation, where you're introduced to somebody for the very first time, they say to you, broadly speaking, so what's your price then? Now, unless you're prepared to deal with that, question, and again, it takes a lot of skill and training to be able to respond to that, because that's not really what they're asking. There's a lot of stuff that needs to be discovered before you can go anywhere near price. Um, imagine how that must feel if you were untrained. But here's my point. That time span, you know, in some cases, some people quote as much as 60 or 70% of the sale is already happening behind the desk of the buyer before they get anywhere near you. If we don't find a way of infiltrating that time slot, then we're always going to start this conversation 70% of the way along the journey, which could be price.